Hey gang, Big Stevie from carstuck.com. If you've been following along, you know that I've been working on my 1980 CJ7. It's a pretty nice piece. It's got some, some neat tricks to it. Uh, for example, they upgraded this rear differential to a Dana 44, and it's a locker, which is cool. And he's put disc brakes on it. The previous owner put disc brakes on it. But it was an automatic Jeep, and one of the projects this winter is to swap the automatic for a manual transmission. And in doing so, I'm going to have to have a parking brake, and I want an emergency brake anyway. And the calipers he chose are GM calipers. They're 20. Some people call them 20. Some people call them Cadillac calipers. Um, they were used on trucks and some cars. The, the Cadillac ones and some of the truck ones had an emergency brake built in, like this one. But he chose some others for whatever reason that do not have the emergency brake built in. So. These are pretty readily available. You can buy the kit. There's bolt-on brackets or weld-on brackets. These are the weld-on brackets. But if he had just gone that extra step and put the emergency brake on, we would have been set. But he didn't, so we're going to do it. Uh, just swap them out. See, this one's got the emergency brake. The cable comes in here and pulls on that, and it drives a rod in to push the piston against the brake. So we're going to swap out the calipers and then some more for the hang of the cables. Hopefully we'll be able to use the CJ, stock CJ cables to go up to the stock CJ pedal. Let's get to it. These calipers use a banjo bolt, so I'm using a 7 16 inch wrench here to remove that bolt so I can remove the brake line, the hydraulic brake line. And then uh, it's just two Allen bolts to hold the caliper on. It's a real simple system. That flat plate has two threaded holes in it. And those Allen bolts are only threaded enough to go into that plate. The rest is just a pin that the caliper slides back and forth on. So here's my new brake caliper. I just used a 1980 Cadillac Seville. There's some other models that use this caliper. But when I ordered it, that's what I used. 1980 Cadillac Seville. Came with new mounting bolts. And I'm just mocking it up here. I'll take it all back apart. i got to paint everything and such. So I'm not worried about torque specs just yet. In this picture you can kind of see there that spring is what the cable goes through and the bracket that it pulls on. Just snug them up for uh, mock-up purposes. The next step would be to run the emergency brake cables, which run up and alongside the inside of the frame here. They usually would go through this bracket, or what used to be this bracket. He's cut this off. I don't know why, but it looks like he just torched it, a bunch of it out of there. I cut the rest of it off. This is all that was left. They used to go right in here and had two holes for the emergency brake cables. And then it came, stuck out far enough that you could hang the exhaust off of it too, so the exhaust would hang from the frame. He had to hang it from the body. Not bad about the guy, I'm just saying, not how I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to go back to the kind of original type bracket, but I'm just going to make it my own. We've got some uh, two inch angle here, eight inch thick. I cut that, weld it up, drill my holes in it, weld it onto the frame. We'll be back to being able to use the stock CJ emergency brake cables. Hopefully. So I'm using a chop saw with a metal cutting blade to cut my steel. I used to cut it with a bandsaw. Man, this thing just rips through steel. Get yourself one of these. But it kind of leaves a rough edge, so then I gotta sand on it a little bit. My belt sander. Love my belt sander. Don't uh, 
Don't mess around with those uh, stone wheels. They're dangerous. Then I got to drill some holes in it. They're half inch holes for the emergency brake cables. And then I drilled one more for a exhaust bracket hanger. And weld it all on. I moved this bracket back about an inch or so from where it was originally. Because this uh, driver's side cable was kind of too short. I don't know if it's the lift on the Jeep or if it's the different entry point on the cable on the caliper instead of a drum brake like it was made for. But uh, it should fit now pretty good. Just push it in until they snap and they've got little fingers that pull out to hold it in place. And then uh, i got my faster side one over here. Get that snapped in too. And then this is uh, the equalizer. Uh, way of attaching two cables to one and uh, pull that spring back get it in there here. there we go and then a new front cable here too and it has this long bolt on the end and go through there put a nut on the back side didn't come with a nut or the clip holds in the uh, bracket up here so I'd get that hardware and then put my nut on there then you can adjust that by moving the nuts forward backward probably double nutted on both sides to hold it in place. And then when you step on the pedal, you pull on this cable, which pulls both the cables on both the emergency brakes. This is all just stock Jeep CJ7 stuff. So, and it seems to work with these Cadillac uh, calipers real good. So, I gotta take it all back apart, gotta paint everything, but mocking it up, make sure it fits. I've got plenty of other videos, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out the playlists. Uh, like and comment below. Click on the merch button to get yourself a hat or a t-shirt. You can even buy me a beer with your Google wallet by clicking on support this channel. Jeep on!